Gardens by the Bay in Singapore. The Gardens by the Bay is a nature park spanning 101 hectares in the central region of Singapore, adjacent to the Marina Reservoir. The park consists of three waterfront gardens, Bay South Garden, Bay East Garden and Bay Central Garden. The largest of the gardens is the Bay South Garden at 54 hectares designed by Grant Associates. Its flower dome is the largest glass greenhouse in the world. Gardens by the Bay was part of the nation's plans to transform its garden city to a city in a garden, with the aim of raising the quality of life by enhancing greenery and flora in the city. First announced by Prime Minister Lee Jian Long at Singapore's National Day Rally in 2005, Gardens by the Bay was intended to be Singapore's premier urban outdoor recreation space, and a national icon. Being one of the popular tourist attractions in Singapore, the park received 6.4 million visitors in 2014, while topping its 20 million visitor mark in November 2015 and over 50 million in 2018. Bay Central Garden Bay Central Garden will act as a link between Bay South and Bay East Gardens. It stands at 15 hectares with a 3-kilometer waterfront promenade that allows for scenic walks stretching from the city center to the east of Singapore. More developments of Bay Central Garden are coming in the next few years. Bay East Garden Bay East Garden is 32 hectares in size and it has a 2-kilometer promenade frontage bordering the Marina Reservoir. An interim park was developed at Bay East Garden in support of the 2010 Summer Youth Olympics. The first phase of the garden was opened to the public in October 2011, allowing alternative access to the Marina Barrage. It is designed as a series of large tropical leaf-shaped gardens, each with its own specific landscaping design, character and theme. There will be five water inlets aligned with the prevailing wind direction, maximizing and extending the shoreline while allowing wind and water to penetrate the site to help cool areas of activity around them. Bay East Garden provides visitors with an unobstructed view of the city skyline. Upcoming developments of Bay East Garden will be based on the theme of water. In 2018, Bay East Garden was designated as the future site of the Founders Memorial. Bay South Garden Bay South Garden opened to the public on June 29, 2012. It is the largest of the three gardens at 54 hectares and designed to show the best of tropical horticulture and garden artistry. The overall concept of its master plan by Grant Associates draws inspiration from an orchid as it is representative of the tropics and of Singapore, being the country's national flower, the Vanda Miss Joaquim. The orchid takes root at the waterfront, while the leaves, shoots and secondary roots then form an integrated network with blooms at key intersections. Conservatories The conservatory complex at Gardens by the Bay, Singapore, comprises two cooled conservatories to the Flower Dome and the Cloud Forest, situated along the edge of Marina Reservoir. The conservatories designed by Wilkinson Air and Grant Associates, are intended to be an energy-efficient showcase of sustainable building technologies and to provide an all-weather edutainment space within the gardens. Both are very large and the Flower Dome is the world's largest columnless glasshouse. The construction of the glasshouses is special in two ways. First of all by being able to have such large a glass roof without additional interior support. Secondly, because the constructions aim strongly at minimizing the environmental footprint. Rainwater is collected from the surface and circulated in the cooling system which is connected to the super trees. The super trees are used both to vent hot air and to cool circulated water. Flower Dome The Flower Dome is the largest greenhouse in the world as listed in the 2015 Guinness Book of World Records at 1.2 hectares and replicates a cool dry Mediterranean climate. It features a changing display, the flower field, and eight other gardens, namely the Bobobs, Succulent Garden, Australian Garden, South African Garden, South American Garden, Olive Grove, California Garden and the Mediterranean Garden. These eight gardens exhibit exotic flowers and plants from the Mediterranean and semi-arid regions from five different continents. Cloud Forest the cloud forest is higher but slightly smaller at 0.8 hectares. 
It replicates the cool moist conditions found in tropical mountain regions between 1,000 meters and 3,000 meters above sea level. Found in Southeast Asia, Central and South America. It features a 42-meter cloud mountain. Accessible by an elevator, and visitors will be able to descend the mountain via a circular path where a 35-meter waterfall provides visitors with refreshing cool air. The cloud mountain itself is an intricate structure completely clad in epiphytes such as orchids, ferns, peacock ferns, spike and club mosses, bromeliads and anthuriums. The design by Grant Associates was inspired by the maiden hair fungus and consists of a number of levels, each with a different theme, including the lost world, the cavern, the waterfall view, the crystal mountain, the cloud forest gallery, the cloud forest theater and the secret garden. Super Tree Grove Super trees are the 18 tree-like structures that dominate the garden's landscape with heights that range between 25 meters and 50 meters. They were conceived and designed by Grant Associates, with the imaginative engineering of Atelier 1 and Atelier 10. They are vertical gardens that perform a multitude of functions, which include planting, shading and working as environmental engines for the gardens. The super trees are home to enclaves of unique and exotic ferns, vines, orchids and also a vast collection of bromeliads such as Tilensa, amongst other plants. They are fitted with environmental technologies that mimic the ecological function of trees, photovoltaic cells that harness solar energy which can be used for some of the functions of the super trees, similar to how trees photosynthesize, and collection of rainwater for use in irrigation and fountain displays, similar to how trees absorb rainwater for growth. The super trees also serve air intake and exhaust functions as part of the conservatory's cooling systems. There is an elevated walkway, the OCBC Skyway, between two of the larger super trees for visitors to enjoy a panoramic aerial view of the gardens. Every night, at 7.45 p.m. and 8.45 p.m., the Super Tree Grove comes alive with a coordinated light and music show known as the Garden Rhapsody. The accompanying music to the show changes every month or so, with certain themes such as A World of Wonder and A Night of Musical Theater, which features excerpts, pieces from films like Jurassic Park and Pirates of the Caribbean. There is also a newly opened attraction called the Super Tree Observatory, which opened on December 27, 2019. This attraction is housed inside the tallest super tree which is 50 meters tall. It comprises three levels, the ground floor, the observatory space and the open-air rooftop deck. Visitors would take the lift up to the observatory space and thereafter take a flight of stairs up to the rooftop deck. The observatory space is located one level below the rooftop deck and it consists of an indoor area with full height glass windows as well as a peripheral outdoor walkway. Here, visitors can also experience a message about the effects of climate change creatively conveyed through digital media. The open-air rooftop deck, which is an open-air observation deck on the canopy of the super tree, offers 360-degree unblocked views of the gardens and the Marina Bay area. Italy's pavilion in Expo 2015 featured a structure called Alibero della Vita which proved visually similar to Singapore's super trees. Children's Garden Designed by Grant Associates, which also designed Gardens by the Bay, the Children's Garden was fully funded by Far East Organization for $10 million. This attraction was opened on January 21, 2014. The Children's Garden is near the Treehouse and the Adventure Trail. The Adventure Trail consists of trampolines, balancing beams, hanging bridges and more. It is open from Tuesdays to Fridays from 10 a dot meter to 7 p dot meter and on Saturdays, Sundays and public holidays from 9 a dot meter to 9 p dot meter. It is closed on Mondays or on the next working day if Monday is a public holiday. Horticultural themed gardens there are two distinctly different sets of horticultural themed gardens which center on the horticultural heritage of the various cultural groups in Singapore and on the biology and ecology of gardens and forests. They are an important part of the garden's edutainment program, which aims to bring plant knowledge to the public. 
The Heritage Gardens theme features gardens that highlight the various cultural groups in Singapore and the important role that plants play in their respective cultures, as well as the country's colonial history. It also focuses on economically important plants in Singapore and Southeast Asia. The four gardens are the Indian Garden, the Chinese Garden, the Malay Garden and the Colonial Garden. The World of Plants theme emphasizes the web of relationships amongst the various plants within a fragile forest setting, showcasing the biodiversity of plant life on the planet. It consists of six sub-themes illustrated by six gardens, which are named Discovery, Web of Life, Fruits and Flowers, Understory, World of Bombs, and Secret Life of Trees. Bayfront Plaza and Floral Fantasy the Bayfront Plaza is the main entry precinct into the gardens from Bayfront MRT station. It includes an attraction called Floral Fantasy which consists of four garden landscapes of floral artistry and a 4D ride experience. The 1,500 square meters Floral Fantasy features floral artistry, as well as a 4D multimedia ride simulating the journey of a dragonfly's flight path through gardens by the bay. Included is also an indoor event space, the Bayfront Pavilion, a cafe and a food and beverage fair on weekends. Budget The final construction cost for the project, not including the price of the land but including an access road, drainage works, and soil improvement, was within a $1.035 billion allocated budget. The annual operating cost was expected to be approximately $58 million, of which $28 million was for operation of the conservatory buildings. The project received 1.7 million visitors between June and October 2012, who had free admission to most portions of the park but were required to purchase tickets for entering the conservatories. In 2006, an international competition for the design of the park was held attracting more than 70 entries submitted by 170 firms from 24 countries. Two British firms to grant associates and Gustafson Porter to were awarded the contracts for the Bay South and Bay East Gardens respectively. Alongside the lead designers grant associates, the design team for Bay South included Wilkinson Air, Atelier 10, Environmental Design Consultants, and Atelier 1, Structural Engineers. They were supported by a number of Singapore firms including CPG Consultants, Architecture, Civil and Structural, Mechanical and Electrical, Meinhardt Infrastructure, Civil and Structural, Langdon and C, Cost Consultants, and PM Link, Project Management. Like us and join us at Xtreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.